everyone. I'm sitting outside of a place that you are going to get to know really well. Richie and I have purchased a property that we are going to be using as our art business home and my studio space. So this is really exciting. I've been wanting to tell you about it, but I've been waiting until we got the keys. We've got the keys and I'm really excited to show you around. This is an older property. It's a 1950s cottage. It has the most magnificent gardens, outbuildings, sheds, whatever you might call them. And it is going to be perfect for us. And we do have some plans for it. So let's take a look inside of the property and I'll talk you through what we are going to do and how we are going to use it. So as you can see, the front door opens up into the main lounge area. So we'll actually be keeping this as a lounge. It would be nice to have a relaxing space. I'll be able to come in here, read a book, flick through things. Also, our kids will probably come here after school sometimes and it will enable them to watch a bit of TV and relax if we are still working either in the offices or I might be out the back finishing off some painting stuff. So it just gives us a little bit of flexibility and we do have plenty of room in this house to be able to do that and use the other rooms for the purposes that we are mainly using this house for, which is to house our art business. So we'll also be giving this room a massive update. It's got this really interesting red color on the wall, certainly not something that I would pick. So we will be painting these walls, changing up the carpets, replacing the curtains and bringing in some new furniture just to give it a nice fresh feel. Let's head into the office spaces so you can have a look where Richie and I will be doing most of our admin type work. Okay, so this is going to be Richie's office. We are going to spruce it up, put some new carpets in, paint the walls. He will have heaps of room in here to do editing, uh, podcasting and things like that. We'll be changing the curtains and just brightening up the space. So one of the things that we really loved about this property is the big windows because they let a lot of light in. It's gonna be really great for filming classes, but also just working because it's nice to have that natural light and also beautiful views as well. So the previous owner left these shelves here, but we are going to take them out because we have heaps of other kinds of shelves that we will bring in and it will also give us the opportunity to repaint the walls and patch up any holes and things like that. So here we have what is going to be my office and I'm finally going to have an office that I can shut the door on and really have some peace and quiet. This room is a little bit smaller than Richie's but I don't really need a lot in here. This is where I do my admin work for the art business. So it's mainly just going to have my office desk, my computer, probably some bookshelves. There are some shelves here but we will be taking those out. This room will be repainted and the curtains are going to get changed and once again we'll be putting in fresh carpet because we do have this really old dusty pink carpet and I can't wait to just freshen everything up. It is a little bit musty in here so new carpets and paint are really going to make a big difference. So I really love this window because you can look out over the garden but you can also see what is going to be my studio space which you'll see in a minute when I take you over there. So this is just a really nice room, like it's small but it's not that small so I'm going to have plenty of room, I can probably have a little chair, I can look out, this will encourage me to get over into my studio and out into the garden. It gets the morning light so it's going to be really nice in the mornings when the light comes in here and that's usually when I do like an hour or so in the morning I just catch up on emails and then I'll head into my studio so it's going to be perfect a really good workflow. So into this room this is a big bright space again a lot of light coming through from this big window and this is what we are going to set up as a dedicated filming area which is something that's really handy if you film a lot of online classes because there's always a lot of equipment that comes with that light stands, cameras, and this will enable us to have a space where we can keep that equipment close to hand and I'll still have my studio with plenty of room to move without cluttering it up with too much filming stuff. 
So this was originally the dining room for the house and we are going to be using it, as I said, as a filming space. It's got these gorgeous sliding doors so we can section it off from the lounge area and we just like it because it's big and bright and spacious. So you can see that this is painted a really cheerful yellow colour and when I came through the house I really loved it with the previous owner's decor and her sense of style but it definitely doesn't really go with my art and the way that I like to present things. So this will be getting painted in a neutral colour because that really will enable me to put any kind of art up on the walls. Um, it's just a great canvas, a blank canvas to work with. So we'll be replacing the carpet, same carpet that we'll be using in the offices just to give it that nice cohesive feel through the whole house. So all of the curtains in the house are really old so we will be taking these down and putting up some new curtains. I've got these really lovely linen curtains that we used in our other house. I really like the style of them so I'll be bringing them through just to give it that really nice soft feel in all of the rooms. So through here we have a very small bathroom and toilet which is great because that's all we need. We will just give it a, a lick of paint, freshen it up and that will be perfect for us. So here we have the pantry area and we actually have heaps and heaps of storage here. I'm not even sure what we will use this for. We have a full size fridge as well so we can really stock up which is great. I think we're going to spend a lot of time here which is the whole idea. So let's take a look at the kitchen which is just through here. So here we are in the kitchen and this has already been updated which is fantastic. I've brought in a few things from home, probably a little bit premature because it is going to take us a few weeks before we are actually in here and working from here. But I couldn't help myself so I bought a toaster and kettle and some chopping boards and just a few things that we can use when we are working here so that we can easily make lunches. I'm hoping that it encourages us to eat better because we have this full kitchen that we can use and we don't necessarily need to always go to the shops and get things. We can stock the cupboards up because we've got plenty of room. So really happy that this is already updated and it's in neutral colors so we can easily tie in our wall color and our carpet color and everything's gonna look really nice and fresh. So just behind me, we have this area which is the dining area. We are going to get a round table here. I'm gonna put a light fitting in, a pendant light fitting, probably something in a natural material. And this is where we'll be able to have our lunch during the days that we are here. So this is gonna be a really nice little spot where we can eat and yeah, just hang out, read, anything like that. So that's what's going there. The, the whole place has got everything we could possibly want and more. So it's just gonna be really fun putting it all together. So I think with this window here, we'll get rid of these curtains and probably just get a blind that we can pull down over here. So we'll just keep it neutral as well, um, just to neaten up the space. So the view from this window isn't the best. It looks out over the driveway, but let me show you the kitchen window because it is really beautiful and you get the whole view of the garden. And I feel like a kitchen should always have a sink underneath a window if possible, because it just makes it so much more enjoyable to be in the kitchen and even to do things like your dishes and things like that. So this is the main reason I fell in love with this property. It's the outside space and all the outbuildings that we can use for studio space and creative space that really, I just fell in love with it straight away. There are these magnificent gardens, cottage gardens, veggie gardens. It's just heaven to me to be able to spend time in my studio and then come out here. This is also north facing, which down in Australia in the Southern Hemisphere, that means it's going to get a lot of light, it's gonna stay warm in the winter, cool in the summer, it's just going to be perfect. And I feel like I am going to have many, many happy days out here creating and painting. We also have these fabulous pergola areas. So I'm visualizing spending time painting outside as well and bringing out some tables when the weather is really nice. Even today is just perfect. It's winter time here where I am, but it is absolutely glorious out here. And I love how productive the gardens are. The previous owner has done a magnificent job. She has left so many treasures for me to explore. 
She's left me all sorts of pot plants, which I didn't expect her to. There are many trees that have fruit on them that we can pick. Oh, it's just gonna be so wonderful. There's all this lettuce here that we can use in salads. Brilliant, I can't wait. I can't wait to get stuck in using the garden as well as the painting space, which I'll show you in a minute. Even just take a look at this arch. There's just so many beautiful features to this garden. And I'm just taking a look at these salvias over here and they are absolutely huge, much bigger than in my garden at home. So I'm not sure what her tricks are, the previous owner, but this garden is looking absolutely magnificent. But let's head into the studio because I know that you all want to see where I'll actually be painting. So this is my new studio space. So it's been a long time since I've had a dedicated space like this. This is also bigger than any studio space I've had so far. And I'm really excited to be able to just knuckle down and have this sanctuary all of my own. So it's a really, really exciting moment for me. And right now I am in this section that I think I'm going to use as my main messy painting area where I will get back into bigger canvas work. So I'm really lucky because I do have a basin here and there's also another basin, but I am trying to figure out whether or not I want to keep it in this format because it is using up the only sort of wall space that I have. And I usually paint canvases on the wall and I also like having places where I can display multiple canvases while I'm working on them. So I do feel like this is taking up a lot of space. So there are some options. We could move this sink and maybe just put it in the corner, leaving me a bit more wall room. Or else I could try working on easels and maybe set up a couple of easels in this space here. What do you think I should do? I'm just not sure. I've mostly worked on a wall, so I don't know whether to make the switch and stick to working on easels and come and work in front of these big windows, which is one of the fantastic things about this space. It has these huge windows, it's letting a lot of light in. It does mean I don't have as much wall space, but natural light is so beautiful to work with when you are painting. And I'm planning on getting a couple of benches, bench seats below the windows. I also love this room because it is going to be so good for my plants. So many of you will know that I love house plants. I'm planning on filling this up with heaps of plants, making it a really inviting place to be. So I am still trying to figure out what I'm going to do and how I'll set things up. The lady who lived here before, she left this rug, which is great because I can continue to use this. Um, it fits in with uh, the style that I'll go, go for in here, which is going to be pretty uh, relaxed and bringing in a lot of eclectic things and vintage things that I've collected over the years. And then I will also try and figure out what to do with the other side of the room. So I'll bring you over there so you can have a look. So as you can see over here, there is a second basin. This is a little bathroom, it has a toilet and a shower cubicle. This was a granny flat, so I do have that, which is quite handy. And over here, what I'm thinking is putting a table. So I do do quite a lot of watercolor work, work in my sketchbooks, and I quite like working at a table or maybe even a bench, bench height, something like that. I'll also need to get some storage into here. Things like my Alex drawers from Ikea, maybe they'll go along there. I'll definitely bring in some shelving, uh, some trolleys and things like that for all my brushes and paints. But I don't need to clutter this space up too much as far as canvases and perhaps things for varnishing because I will show you in a minute, there's all sorts of other storage options on this property. So I can keep this place fairly uh, minimal in a way and keep some of the larger items in one of the other outbuildings. I also might end up putting some kind of shelving or maybe even just storing can canvases just in this area here because that looks like a good little corner where I could put some larger canvases and have them easily accessible. So let's head over to those outbuildings I was talking about. 
So this is another studio room. This one doesn't get quite as much, or it doesn't really get a lot of natural light, but it's really nice and cool in here. And what I'll be using this room for is primarily storing my paintings. So what I'm hoping to do is build some racks so that I can store all my paintings safely in here. This is really dry, this space. It's going to keep everything away from the sun. It will be really safe. All my paintings will be really nice and safe in here. It's also got another basin. So if there's some kind of messy work that I need to sort out or some washing up to do, this is another option as far as where I can clean up my brushes or anything that I'm working on. I do have another really big basin here where I can clean stuff up. So I'm not sure yet. I have so many options as far as clean up and storage. And also this is a great place where I could put more um, shelves and store additional paint and other supplies and substrates and things like that that I don't want to store in the main studio. So there's plenty of space. So Richie thinks one of the main reasons why I could even get rid of that other basin in the studio is because I have this basin here and it's only a short walk across a beautiful garden to come over here. And this could actually be a really great place for washing up brushes and then leaving them to dry here. So he has a good point. Um, it's something to think about because I could then free up that valuable wall space in the main studio. So this shed actually continues on and there are a couple of other really cool areas that I'll show you where we can store other things. So this little storage area here is a great place for us to store any kind of gardening tools, outdoor furniture that we want to keep out of the rain. It's just a little storage area where we can keep things dry. So as well as this storage area, we also have a workshop through here. If I can get this open. So this is actually really cool. This will be more be Richie's domain, but we have this workshop area, a workbench. So if Richie's helping me with framing or varnishing, he'll be able to do it in here and store all, all of his tools and equipment on these shelves. So this is just another really handy space. So this shed area actually has three sections in it. So we are really spoilt when it comes to storage and there's still more because there's another shed up the back, which I'll quickly show you where we can put anything else that we want to store that we won't be accessing very much. So up here we have another huge shed that we can use for storage. So we really can put anything we want up here, which is great. So this is basically just a shed, but it's absolutely massive. So Richie is going to love this. He loves sheds. This hopefully will keep him happy. So just to finish off, I wanted to show you the back part of the property because the garden keeps on going. You can see behind me, there's a pretty big chicken coop back there. There's more fruit trees, lovely little paths and lots of spots to explore. I haven't even fully got around the whole garden yet. And we're really lucky as well because we have quite a few rainwater tanks. We have solar panels on the roof and all the yummy things that are in the garden. So we can be quite self-sufficient over here, which I absolutely love. So I hope that you've enjoyed this empty house tour, an empty studio tour. I'm going to keep you updated as I settle in and as we make changes to the property. I'm really excited to see how it all comes together.